Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I've been really pumping them out lately. So this time I wanted to go over the Havano Exchange, which was just announced yesterday. So basically what the Havano Exchange is, is it's a Monero-based DEX or decentralized exchange for trading Monero for fiat and other cryptocurrencies. At this point, it's just a proof of concept, but they have it working on testnet right now from what I understand. Um, what's happening? Um, the calls for a native decentralized and private way to exchange Monero for fiat currencies and other cryptos have been heard. Havano is a fork of the BISC exchange, a decentralized exchange used to trade Bitcoin for national currencies and other cryptos. Havano is based on Monero, making it more private and cheaper than BISC. More info in the readme of the repository. So here's the readme of the repository. They're talking about the faults of BISC and the faults of BISC are basically the same on Bitcoin. Um, all BISC's platform transactions are based on Bitcoin, which make them slow and fully traceable. And BISC transactions are unique and easily visible on the blockchain. This means that it's trivial to check which Bitcoin transactions are the result of a trade on BISC. Trade fees will also be drastically lower as the Monero network has a much lower transaction fee than the Bitcoin network. As you can see, three tenths of a cent versus nine dollars. So from what I understand on this, even if Bitcoin is on the Havana exchange, it will be a more private way to exchange Bitcoin for fiat and other cryptocurrencies on a DEX. I could be wrong on that and Obviously, it won't fix everything. The Bitcoin network itself is still traceable, so you're still going to have to deal with that, but it won't be as obvious as it currently is on BISC, which would be an improvement, obviously. Um, status, at the moment, it's already possible to do a crypto to Monero trade, but the platform needs a lot of work before being available for public use. So these are a few of the things that they need a logo right now it's a random stock image which is this Havano in Esperanto which is the language of Monero actually means harbor so it looks like they're trying to stay with a naval theme here this one's pretty cool but obviously it could be better right um, this one's pretty cool I really like this concept but it might be a little too busy for a quick logo um, this is pretty cool if you're artistic in any way and you think you have a cool design idea, go ahead and post it here and it might just be immortalized in the Havano Exchange logo, which would be pretty cool. So, um, let's go back here. Um, the user interface is basically still BISC. It needs to be completely reworked and adapted for Monero as the base currency. Understandable, because this is just a fork of BISC and they're using the Monero network as the base instead of the Bitcoin network. That's what makes it more private. Um, they need to clean up the repository also. So if you want to build this and test it out for yourself, here's the commands and you can go through that. Um, if you want to become a sponsor for Havano and help them build it, uh, send an email to HavanoDex at ProtonMail.com. And if you want to support this project, you can donate Monero here. So if you're not aware, the Monero community uh, completes tasks and things through donations, right? Since there's no central company behind Monero, because it's decentralized, uh, all these things need to be funded by the community to be made. Um, if there's enough demand for it, people will contribute and this will be made. So. If you feel like donating to help this project along, go ahead and scan this QR code with your mobile wallet, or I will also put this Monero address in the description of this video. However, be careful with that because I also have a donation address for my own personal Monero wallet in the description, so make sure you don't confuse those two. Um, so I want to quickly mention the community crowdfunding system. I'm guessing that probably pretty soon there's going to be a community crowdfunding proposal for the Havano exchange and this is basically what it's going to look like. Um, 
it'll say Havano Exchange coding blah 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 something and then they'll say oh we need you know 500 Monero or something and what you do is you click on this and then it'll say okay this is what we're doing milestones um, the way these are designed are to be extremely transparent they want everybody to know what's going on things like that let me see if I can find one that needs required funding still okay here we go so yeah he says everything that he's gonna do completely transparent of when he's going to be doing things blah 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 and then you can press contribute and scan the QR code or copy this address this is not the one for Havano exchange but I'm guessing there will be one soon like I said so keep an eye out for that and if you can make if you can think of a cool logo do that it could be put on there forever and it'd be awesome so that would be really cool and obviously the question everybody wants to ask yes they will be working on implementing atomic swaps for Monero to Bitcoin on Havano so this is the ultimate combination right a more private decentralized exchange and atomic swaps on it this is what atomic swaps were made for decentralized exchanges right so we're getting the one two combo here really excited for this and yeah so that's all I really wanted to say um, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something today